Elon Musk has been tweeting about the Earth's alleged underpopulation crisis. But should we be concerned? We've agreed that it's not birth rate that's causing any kind of climate change. It's not the driver, at least, that's for sure. You think it should be people should qualify and be tested. You think people should be tested. You think we should just feed them and let them <laughs> age I, out. Voluntarily. Yeah. Right. I mean, so as a society, I mean, we value freedom and the, you know, reproductive choice is one of those freedoms. And I think the better approach is to try to educate people um, so that they're responsible when they have children and they can care for them. But, I mean, I think having the government getting involved in anything like this, I mean, China's done that. It's a disaster over there. I completely agree with you about reproductive freedom. I think that's the most important thing we need today. Hundreds of millions of couples are denied their right to not procreate. But we, uh, you were mentioning how... How's that? Oh, how go are, ahead. How are they denied that right? Uh, they, do not, they do not have the uh, contraceptive services, reproductive health services that they need. Those are not uh, provided. And maybe people should supply their own, but they can't afford it because they're having more offspring that they can't feed. Where, where's and, that? Uh, just about everywhere. Try to get a uh, sterilization here in America when you haven't had kids and you're only 22. That's true. We're, we're not allowing people to we not breathe. We see people like that all the time, and you can put an IUD in. A copper IUD is effective for 10 years. It's inert. Have you ever it's walked in effective. a grocery store and seen a, a lady with a bonnet on her head with eight kids walking behind her? You think that she's being responsible? You think that she's really taking into consideration what she's supposed to do responsibly? You think that she's not on Section 8 housing? You don't think that we paying for her to house her kids? who's probably going to grow up and steal my wheels off my car. I uh, disagree with all this crap that I hear. I grew up with six brothers and seven sisters at a time when, you know, I grew up on a plantation in Alabama, and we grew up in a little hut house, bathroom outside. And we, my family uh, uh, raised an amazing family, children. But what the difference was then than it is now is that before you had babies, you got married. So you have the father and the mother in the home. And while the father's out earning a living, the mother was watching over his children. And so you were able to raise decent children. We didn't have government in our lives at the time. And so we were able to do that. And in America, we were not allowing all these illegal aliens and refugees to come into our country. So our government were not taking care of folks from other parts of the world and the families in America, we took care of ourselves. I think you've pretty much pissed off everybody. <laughs> um, but it, you, you said you said there's not anything you've heard that you don't think is crap. So what do you think? I think you said need, what you don't think. What do you think? I know that we need to restore the family. We need a smaller government because government don't make anything work. They screw you up. We need to stop taking care of women who are having these babies out of wedlock. Correct. We need to stop taking care of these women who are coming from other countries. We need to stop taking care of their babies. But we need to take care of American families first by getting them away from the government and restoring order. Okay, you're, you're a pastor, right? Yes. And you're a radio host? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and you said you believe white people should have more children? We definitely need white babies. And I tremble at the idea that white babies, that the white uh, group is going down in numbers because if you lose white folks, America, it's over for America. Because if you notice, white people tend to be more innovative. They're more creative. They, they have ideas about things. All these other races don't do nothing but destroy. They don't build, but they destroy. He's I too. said you'd piss off everybody, I was wrong. Now you pissed <laughs> off everybody. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.